welcome back to developers home you know that we are solving every day one data engineering problem and you know that we are solving that every day using apache spark postgres sql or mysql or spark sql so now with this we are also planning to learn about apache spark and we are starting with spark etl so now if you go here you will have one more section which is spark if you go inside we are starting with spark etl so in this blog what we are gonna discuss is all the apache spark etl which is extract transform and load or elt which is extract load and transform pipelines and here we are considering this all the different etl pipelines so we'll starting with apache spark etl with files you know files will discuss how to you know that connect and load data from csv json or parquet files into spark data frame how to do transformation and then again how to load that those data into different file format next thing will be connecting to sql database in that we are considering mysql and postgres sql so we understand that how to install libraries so that you know that we can able to connect from apache spark to mysql using jdbc driver or using predefined spark libraries same way in our next blog we'll discussing about non-sql database in that we'll be considering mongodb so let's consider you have this data all available in mongodb data base and now you want to load data from mongodb into spark and then from spark you want to load data into lake house or in a mysql or in a file format so how to do that so here we'll be discussing about how to connect to non-sql how to install library for that and you know that we had one more section where we discuss how to you know that set up your system for data engineering tool suit and in that we have that docker image that docker image is already having libraries for azure blob storage azure data lake services s3 bucket uh, delta tables also have libraries for google buckets so you know that in our next blog we'll be discussing that spark etl with azure blob storage and azure delta lake services after that we'll be discussing about spark etl with aws s3 bucket spark etl with hive tables spark etl with apis how to call apis from par spark and load data into data frame and to do and do transformation after that you know that we're also discussing about lake house in a lake house we'll be creating and doing all the operations with delta table apache hoodie apache iceberg and after that we'll do comparison between delta versus high iceberg versus hoodie and after that we'll also learn how to do optimization on delta tables so we'll discuss here about optimize function z order function partitioning and also discuss about vacuum and all the you know that versions of delta tables after that we'll do etl with apache kafka and etl with gcp bigquery and also do etl with apache scoop using hadoop so for now we are planning these are the etl pipelines if you wanna add something more please suggest and we can also discuss on that part and we also have here github repo in that we'll be having all the required jupyter notebooks with the solutions we'll also have files which we are gonna use for this all the operations and we'll also provide all the libraries or direction and urls of libraries so you can also set up your system how i am using so for now if you go we have this chapter zero so in chapter zero you know that we have here all the operations which we gonna do then what are the data sets we are using and we also have data in csv format json format and after that we have solution in a notebook so you can also clone this repo and you can also do practice with me so this is how we are planning with spark etl so we'll see you in the next video starting with chapter zero until then thanks and see you thanks for watching video